This is the pivot table that Excel created that summarized the source data from the other sheet. As long as any cell in the data is selected, the pivot table builder and pivot table tab on the ribbon will appear. Click outside the table and both are hidden. If you click in the pivot table and still don't see the pivot table builder, click this button on the pivot table tab. Now, let's take a closer look at the information that the pivot table provides and how it relates to what you see in the pivot table builder. Each field that is selected or checked in the pivot table builder appears in the pivot table. The location field appears here under row labels with one row for each warehouse location, which corresponds to the row labels area on the pivot table builder. The item field appears under column labels with one column for each item, which corresponds to the column labels area. Finally, the values shown in the pivot table are the sums of the wholesale prices. For example, the California location sold $11,642 worth of backpacks. All locations combined sold a grand total of $29,152 worth of backpacks. And you can see the totals for the other items and locations as well. The values area in the pivot table builder indicates that the sum of wholesale is used for the calculations. In the next lesson, we'll use the pivot table builder to summarize the source data in a different way.